the Sussex Liaison and Diversion Service supports service users who present with one or more vulnerabilities. These include a range of issues from substance misuse or mental health issues to providing support to the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender or LGBT community. The team's focus is on equal access to healthcare for all. The service follows the pathway of identification, assessment and referral of vulnerable people who come into contact with the criminal justice system. Um, there's a number of services in Brighton that kind of are there for people of the LGBT community. We've got um, young gay mums. We've got um, the, the we've actually got um, Time Out, which is a service for anybody that wants to support with their sexuality. We've also we also link in with our HIV clinic. We've also got we've also got an HIV unit treatment centre in Brighton. So we've got really good links to know what their care pathways are. So our LGBT champion. He will regularly attend meetings in their team meetings. He'll introduce himself, let him know, let them know that the service we offer is for people that have been arrested, and so that he, they know he's there. He will also catch up on recent research as well with them. So, but actually, only last week he attended a coffee morning um, with one of the LGBT um, groups in Brighton. The liaison and diversion team in Sussex doesn't only provide support for the LGBT community. Through working with third sector organisations, support is provided to people from all walks of life. Inspire is an organisation that focuses on women's provision. So we have quite kind of tight kind of referral routes in. So women can be referred through the liaison diversion service from police custody. They're referred from court um, and they can be referred from the prison. So we also operate um, an in-reach service. So we work with women in custody to support with their kind of um, rehabilitation and reintegration needs and we also support them once they've come out of custody. They got the ball rolling. It was just nice to be able to sit down and talk to somebody about how long this drinking, my drinking was going on. It was a crutch for me, but it's got out of hand. Um, meeting people, I wouldn't know, I, w I just don't know what I would have done without these meetings. It's really kept me sort of like straight. If I hadn't ever had that chat when he came to the cells, that early hours of the morning, or that time when I really needed somebody, I don't know. I would have just thought it was just a, um, a waste of time of me doing the crime I committed and just going back to the same old situation. <laughs>